Hey, so we have a Toyota Corolla. This is a very popular model. And we have Marilyn here. She is going to be the uh, helper here. And this is her car. So why don't you give it a little unboxing and uh, yeah. introduce yourself. <laughs> introduce myself? You just said my name. So do you know anything about the Android head unit? Nope. Well, That's why I got you. What do you think of the quality? It looks pretty expensive. Nice. So this is the, the side of head unit for the Corolla. So we have the PX6. That, what that means is you have the best processor right now in the market. You even have HDMI. Check that out, Marilyn. Oh, what the heck? So I don't know if you want to put your, your Nintendo Switch on that. In place of your, I don't even know how that works. So I don't, it's some, I don't know how to open this. You just pull it. Oh. Just pull it out. Just be careful. Oh, well, we got the big old phone. They do a good job with packaging because you don't want these to snap during yeah. shipping. Wow, that's a massive screen. My small hands can't grab it. Wow. What? Let's kind of have it like side by side with what you have right now. Un unwrap it. That way we can get a better look at it. Wow. Are you ready for the <laughs> big. That screen is way bigger. Uh, okay, so that's gonna be a big difference. Maybe you really could play games on this. <laughs> Jesus, this is like a 10, that's like an 11 or 12 inch. That's a really massive mm. screen. Uh, this wasn't too bad, but we'll see how this works, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you even have the cutouts for your passenger airbag, mm -hmm. and then you have your hazard buttons too, so that's Ooh, really nice. That's fancy. All right, so to remove this head unit, it's actually really easy. You can use a plastic pry tool or a flat head, depending on which, how ballsy you are. But you kind of hit it from this side right here, and then you just twist, and it starts to come up. Really easy. Then you should be able to just work your way around and pull the rest of the tabs out. This should release all the tabs, but be careful, don't pull out, because these things need to be unplugged. And it's just being held by clips, no screws. Just clips. There you go. So remember the harnesses, it's just two clips for your airbag and then you have your, what is this, a hazard button? Mm -hmm. And that's it. Now there's some of these screws right here that we need to hit up. I think these are just 10 mils and this unit should be able to come out no problem. Ever use that tool before? No. Oh my God. You move it left? There you what? go. So this is already loose. So do the next bolt. So there's four tents and it should pull out. All right, so we have the screws, or the, the four bolts taken out. You just pull the whole head unit. And this is where you have to be careful. You see these little things? This is actually really sharp and that could scratch your, your trim pieces. Um, okay, can you help me pl unplug these? It's just a little pin right here and you just pull it out. So that's gonna be your radio antenna. This is going to be your steering wheel controls. This one's going to be tough. This is your USB. That is, um, it could be your steering wheel controls too. Usually it's like a backup camera. Go ahead. Don't break a nail though. If you're scared, I'll do it. I <laughs> get it. Okay. Oh, I can't even get it. There you go. This is a uh, six pin. Yeah, that's a six pin, so that's your rear speakers. So the head unit's out, looking clean. And theoretically, this is basically almost, we're almost done. We could transplant the new one in and uh, we're set. So what do you think we have to do? Unfortunately, it's not as easy as you just take these plugs and plug into the back of that unit, because that unit is like uh, aftermarket. What we have to do, they make it pretty simple is they make these uh, harnesses for you, Marilyn, where you just plug it in. So I want you to plug it in, kind of like Lego pieces. I know it looks kind of crazy. Oh. Looks like your car came with a CAN bus. So does your, does your head unit ever show like your doors open or um, maybe, I don't know, other stuff like that, your doors open or on, your AC or anything like on that? The screen? Yeah. Just the AC. Oh, so it shows your AC. So we're gonna see if um, your your radio also, like this new one shows AC too, because 
That would be sweet. So that's where this what this box does. So why don't you plug this stuff in? Go ahead. Does like Lego? You probably have no idea. <laughs> but there, okay, they, these are the five plugs, all right? Mm -hmm. So try to do your best. I'll help you with the first one. This one right here mm -hmm. is the radio antenna. Do you this remember one? which one that is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you it make it, yep, snaps in. Good. So um, I know these, these two are gonna be it right there. There you go. Kay. So these two are gonna be these two. These, these mm -hmm. two? Mm-hmm. Nice. This is this is easy, right? Like, they make it easy. You don't have to know anything about wiring. To put it on. You gotta put it. Yep. Okay. Hear that snap. Uh, then you have these two more plugs. Let's get those accounted for. So that's a 28 pin. Um, usually it handles like aux, uh, reverse cameras, and uh, what should I call it? Um, steering wheel controls and stuff like that. So. It's yeah, I think it's that way. This way? Mm hmm You're gonna have some extra plugs on this side. I know that kind of like, what, why? So um, it's because sometimes different model years, like your 20, yours is a 2015, but a 2013 might have a slightly different configuration. So I think it, this mm -hmm. is the last one right there. Does it? It might not even fit. Yeah, it doesn't even fit. Oh, it does. There you go. So that's all, all the wires you need. We all, we also need one more wire actually. It's gonna be, um, the CIDA came with the, um, the USB cord. Can you pull the USB cable? This one? Mm -hmm. So, go ahead. So it's really nice that this, um, this head unit still comes with a USB. That means you're still gonna be able to use, use this USB, which is very important, right? Mm -hmm. So there you go. And it should make your charging a lot faster too. Wow, so um, we're done on this end. These plugs were for what? The airbag and then the hazard. So we don't need, we can kind of just push all this back here. Cool. All right, Marilyn, so this is your accessories. So you know how there's so many plugs on the back of this unit? Mm -hmm. um, this is, there's no USBs on the back of this. So you're just like, okay, where's that USB thing? Where do I plug this USB in? Well, these, these pins right here, actually is a USB. So we just have to pull out the accessories for USB. Okay. So pull that bag out. Nice. We've got all the USBs we ever need. What's this? It's a microphone. Yeah. There is a microphone on the front of this unit, but let's say if you want to get that better sound quality, mm -hmm. like if you want your microphone closer to your face, then um, when someone calls you, it's a little bit easier. Okay. That is an antenna. So you can screw it on like right there. Ooh. You've probably never seen this before. You, you want to screw this? So you want to hold this in place ah. and then screw it this way. Yeah. Thanks. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, it's you're doing it right. It's getting tighter. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. So your, your system will now have Wi-Fi, which is nice. I just want to make sure it's snugged. Uh, there's also the GPS antenna. Do you see anything GPS in there? Oh, yeah, there it is. So you want to take that out. So we'll have, we have Wi-Fi connected. I, I never tried this HDMI and I really want to see what it does. Same thing with that one. You kind of just screw it. You couldn't, uh, go ahead, go screw that. I'm just going to talk. So, some people put this on top of their dash, but I have really good luck with signal with just having it on top of this. It makes the install a lot easier too. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that one right there. So that's one USB. And you want to plug that one into this slot right here. So go for it. Okay, that's good enough. I think sometimes, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't click in. It's already snugged in, okay, good. Uh, then let's do the other USB. So I know your car only came with one USB, but we're gonna actually put more USBs in your car. So you're gonna have, I don't know, more USBs. Awesome. That's a pretty fatty one. So um, you wanna line that one up right below it. So where the purple one is, right there. And if you're too unsure, it actually says on the top too. Nice. And then those are, what is that? 
so we got the camera uh, video in so this is for your backup camera and stuff let's um plug this one in too because of course uh having a head unit without a backup camera is a headache so we'll plug that in right here hopefully it fits and i just want to make sure so d is definitely what does d do aux in and camera in and you see how the back of this one has a bunch like a camera in and stuff it has two camera vin so um i'm not too sure which one this is but this is where we kind of have the unit plugged in but not fully plugged in so there's two camera vins we don't know which one is the camera ca uh so we're just gonna have them loosely in so far we'll have this one here just this one's aux video and then for your aux cable which is down there do you ever even use aux no okay well you're um it's gonna be this uh these two this is for your right channel and this one's for your left channel and this these are gonna be for your subwoofers which um you, do you have a front camera for your car too no? no so we're not gonna use that so we pretty much have the the basics in um yeah so let's plug it in plug in the black one right here into uh, the, the so this is pretty much all of it right here nice nice and clipped in uh let's plug in a usb any any of those will work we're kind of just testing it right now so we don't have to and then your radio signal um here you go right here yep so i don't know how your trim's gonna fit but we're just gonna have it kind of in here That box. So make sure we tuck this. There's a huge amount of space back here, which is kind of nice. Since we don't have to worry too much about fit. Okay. That's uh. I don't know how it's supposed to fit, but um, go ahead, fire it up. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. It's <laughs> 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 this oh, oh, it's turning on, baby! Woo! Toyota was good. Okay, so this is nice. We don't have the, the trim surrounding yet, which we definitely can get to in a bit. But man. So the first time you turn it on, oh, so it, sh it does show the doors open. You saw that? Yeah. So your car had that previously too, or no? Nope. So check this out. So I guess, oh, that's sick. Hey, who, who had the door open? Now you know. <laughs> that is cool. That is insane, actually. It's so nice to have. Open, close. All right, so um, a thing that we should definitely check right now is sound, make sure there's audio. Nice, so there's definitely sound going through. Um, radio. 106.5. Make sure your system is running properly. It sounds clear, nice. Real heat counts. It's our should we do it or should we wait? <laughs> Let's, uh, let's wait on doing that. So it looks like it's it's working. I mean, there's no... <laughs> yeah, that's why just in case we have uh, some extra precautionary. Uh, let's put the car in reverse. Don't press anything. Okay, so the car is in... This is in reverse right now, right? So right now, it doesn't say we have signal. So that's like the camera VIN thing. So if you could hold this and then I kind of plug in the other camera, we gotta see which one's the reverse camera. This could be, the, this is usually the most trickiest part of the install. Camera. Yes. So I just swapped the camera VIN and now we can see the camera. Um, did you have those lines before? Uh huh. That doesn't move. Oh, okay. This, I was wondering if the steering wheel will affect the, uh, the lines. Sometimes it does. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's great. Turn on AC. Wait, wait, let's just put it, put it into a parker. <laughs> okay. 
So there you go. You have AC on the screen too. I don't know how that works. Um, you still have this, which you don't. Have, but it, I guess it's nice to have it, so it shows right here. Can you control it? I think it's just a view, huh? That's still pretty sick. I mean, it shows AC. It shows AC. <laughs> Why is it on? A yeah, so that's nice. All right. I mean, what other features should we check? Let's check Bluetooth. Name to something. Name it. What do you want to call this? <laughs> Memories car. <laughs> Memory trip. You can change this later if you want. <laughs> Here, we'll keep it zero, zero. Okay. <laughs> Your car is named memory zero, zero, zero. There you go. So it shows the metadata, metadata right there. Oh yeah, I have to do this. Sweet, so it does work. And then if you hit this, you should skip the song. Yeah, there you go. And you have this nice, beautiful screen. This, if you drive people around, they're gonna, they're gonna talk about this. <laughs> you're like, yo, why is this screen like so insane? And it's really sharp, huh? Was your screen as sharp as this? Like clear and the colors are just are super vibrant. No, it's just mostly black, blue. Yeah, so you have all these colors and you can change all these settings too. So I think um, we're pretty much done here.